Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners 2019 on how to pay bills properly in QuickBooks Online. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University and thank you for watching this video. So I want to walk through, this seems pretty straightforward to a lot of people, but to a lot of people it's not so straightforward. And even if you know how to pay bills in QuickBooks Online, I want to give you a couple tips, a little, uh, you know, business uh, ideas basically to use uh, either in your business or if you work for somebody else on just how to pay bills in QuickBooks Online. All right, so here we are. We're on the uh, dashboard here for the sample company file. So this assumes that you know how to enter bills, okay? And it's very important that you understand first how to enter bills into QuickBooks Online because uh, there is uh, at least a certain way that you wanna record it and make sure that you get the date of the bill correct, the due date correct, the amount, et cetera. And so this video assumes that you know how to enter bills correctly. So if you don't, go back and watch some of my other videos uh, or go to QuickBooks University, the website, and uh, you can definitely get the training there. All right, so we're gonna make this assumption. Bills are entered correctly. So we're gonna go up to the Quick Create menu and we're gonna go to Pay Bills. All right, so you see that option there. All right, so you have entered these bills and these bills uh, are due, okay? And so there's a couple things on this screen that you wanna take a look at. The first thing is this payment account. And you'll see right now it's defaulting to MasterCard. All right, so we're gonna click this drop down menu. You're gonna see uh, QuickBooks will automatically put in here the bank accounts and the credit card accounts. So if you are paying by check or uh, you know, ACH or debit card or, you know, electronic funds transfer or EFT, uh, you were going to choose your checking account. So if it's coming out of your checking account to pay this bill uh, or your savings, you're going to choose checking or savings. Or if you have a different bank account, you're going to choose the account that you're paying the bill with. And you can choose to pay it by credit card. So if you are paying a bill by credit card, You've got your credit card set up in QuickBooks. You're just going to choose which credit card you're using to pay the bill. Okay. Very, very important that you choose the right account. All right. So we're going to assume here that we're paying with checking and there's a balance. Uh, it shows you the balance in the checking account, the payment date, the starting check number. Okay. Now this is the second important part. If you are printing checks from QuickBooks, you want to choose print later and this will allow you to print the check from QuickBooks. If you are handwriting the check and now you're just entering it in QuickBooks, you're gonna put in the check number. Okay, so let's say this was 54874. That was the check we're gonna use and you're gonna enter that there. Now that is also very important because when you go to reconcile your account or if you use bank feeds, you wanna be able to match that up to the actual check number. Okay, now, if you are paying one of these bills by ACH, okay, or let's say we go to the PG&E website and we pay online, 8644, okay, we're not going to print it later because we're not printing a check and we don't have a check number, okay? So the question that comes up is, what do you enter here? Well, I personally enter EFT for electronic funds transfer, uh, and that kind of covers whether it's an ACH or a debit or whatever it is. Now, some people will put in ACH if it's an ACH. They will put in debit if it's a debit. They will put in, uh, what else could you put in here? Um, you could put in website if it's a website payment. So you can put in anything you want for the check number, but you wanna make sure that you put in what's gonna signify how it was paid, okay? So I'm going to say EFT, so EFT and so if I paid this electronically by EFT, we're gonna put that there and we're not gonna choose print later, okay? So in this example, I said EFT, PG&E. Now, if some of these are gonna be printed, all right, you wanna just say PG&E was paid by electronic funds transfer. So again, so this example, we paid PG&E on the website and the other ones, we're gonna print checks. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to choose PG&E and we're gonna go over and say, okay, due date, amount, there's no credits, and the payment, 
Okay, now this part is very, very important. I'm going to show you this in a minute. But let's say we paid this by the website. So we want to do this in uh, two different transactions here. So the first one, EFT, pg and &E. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to save. Okay, so that bill was paid, and now it's got these. So now in the next ones, if I'm going to print these checks, we're going to do these two, and we're going to say print checks. Okay, so you got to do them in two different transactions. One is EFT, and the other one is to print checks. Now, what I want to show you here is let's say that uh, the open balance is 205, and we are just sending them $100. Okay, you can change the amount right here. To $100 and it's going to make a payment for $100. Okay, we've got these checks to print and let me hit save and you'll see now the open balance to that one. We just paid 100 it was 205 so now it's 105. All right, so it will keep track. QuickBooks will keep track of the amount you still owe. Okay, and then if we want to go print the checks, we're going to go ahead and close out of here and we're going to go up here and say print checks and you will see okay this is a setup so let's say i'm finished with setup here you want to go ahead and do that in your own uh, company file say print checks and you'll see here are the checks that we need to print and then you're going to put your checks in, in your printer print these off sign them and send them okay so these are the basics of paying bills in QuickBooks Online. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to leave a comment below uh, or question below. Also head over to the QuickBooks University. I'd love to walk you through how to use QuickBooks step-by-step -step and give you that personal support to answer your questions. The website is qbuniversity.org.